Hello, it's Charlotte O'Hara and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about six things that make your website legit. Six things that make your website legit. We're gonna be talking about a combo of SEO, duh, <laughs> um, design and just general user experience points of view. So this is a list of things that I wanted to pull together that is quick, you know, I want you to focus on short wins so that you're like, oh, hey, I DIY'd my website and I don't want it to look like an obvious DIY. Well, then go through this list of things I'm going to tell you in the video and make sure that you have done all of them. Okay. So this is short and sweet, but like if you have all of these things done on your, your website, specifically your Squarespace website, but even if you're on a different website platform, that's fine. Then you'll be like, yep. Okay, cool. We're good to go. So Let's dive right in. All right, so the very first thing that is going to make your website look legit is that it actually shows up in search results. <laughs> like, obviously this is really important, right? So this is the number one thing I want you to start with. So if you have a website and you're like, cool, yeah, great, it looks good, happy with it. Now I want you to do a really quick exercise, like type your, your name, your brand name, your business name, whatever it is, is associated with your website, type that into Google. And I want you to tell me like, does your website show up in the search results? And specifically, does it show up on like page one or you know, page two or something like that? And if the answer to that, you're like, oh my God, no, Charlotte, it doesn't. I'm nowhere in Google search results. Then don't worry. You are in the right place. I have so much content here on my YouTube channel, my blog, my website, whatever, that will help you to actually show up in search results. And the very first place you can start is with the video that I'm gonna link to up above. It's kind of like Squarespace SEO 101, like everything you need to know about Google, or sorry, Squarespace SEO. So that is where you should start, but also take a look at all the other videos I have. And if you follow all that stuff, you'll help you to rank actually with your website so that you can show up. Cause that's like the most important thing. Okay, let's move on now to point number two, okay? Point number two, really quick and easy, is that in order to be legit, your website needs a favicon or a browser icon, okay? So favicon or browser icon, you guys might know what they are, but it's like a small little branding element, that like image that goes in the browser tab or something. Super simple, super quick and easy to do. I have another video tutorial that I'm going to link to up above so that if you don't have one and you just currently you know, nothing screams like, yo, I'm using a DIY Squarespace website, like that little gray box, the default one favicon that Squarespace gives you. So if you don't have that and that's currently what your favicon or browser icon is, no, that's not cute. You have to update that one and make sure that it's in line with the rest of your branding and colors and all that sort of thing. So check the tutorial I linked to up above. Okay. Next one is point number three, and this one is really good here, okay? So this one is that in order to be legit, your website has to have a really clear like tagline or info about what you're doing above the fold, okay? Above the fold, if you don't know what that means, it's basically like, you know, you don't want someone to start scrolling when they land on your website. You want it to just be like the first thing you do. Okay. And the reason for this, let me tell you why I think this is so important and it's something that such a, sets a legit website apart, is that think about the way that many people are going to be accessing your website, right? It's usually because they found you through a Google search result, ideally. And in this case, they're landing on your website, like oftentimes your homepage for the very first time. They don't know anything about you. They don't know anything about your brand, your business, whatever. And so if they're landing just on your homepage right off the bat, you need them to know what you are, what you're doing, whatever. So it could be something like James Smith and then underneath it, like Seattle lifestyle photographer, right? Or in my case, it's like Charlotte O'Hara and then underneath it would be like Squarespace SEO expert, right? So think about how that looks and how you might actually set that up. So in many cases, like often, what people will have is like a full width banner image and then heading one on top, the text overlay on top of that banner image will be like heading one, their like their brand or their business or their personal name or whatever. And then just below it, heading two will be kind of the like tagline or the info line about them. And not only is this really good to set it up this way as a you know, user experience point of view, but it's also helpful from SEO too, because then when the search engines crawl and index your site, the very first thing they're landing on on the homepage 
are those H1 and H2 tags that kind of explain using the main keywords, like what your website's about, kind of like what you're offering, all that sort of thing. Okay. So let's move on now to point number four. Okay. Point number four is that all of your blog posts finish with a cl clear call to action, CTA. Okay. This is another really big thing that sets a legit website apart from someone who's just kind of like winging it. <laughs> okay. So when someone is just winging it, they're like brand new to websites, all that sort of thing. You'll, they'll just write a blog post, you know, text, maybe an image or something. And they're like, cute, good to go. But this is a missed opportunity in a major way. And you'll see that this is a big thing that sets a legit or experienced established website apart. Because let's think about this again. You know, I always love to talk about SEO because that's my like bread and butter, but let's think about this from a like applicable point of view. Okay. So again, many times people are going to find your website or your brand or your business for the first time through a blog post. And when they do, they're landing on the blog post. And again, like before we said, they don't know anything about you, your brand, your business, your offerings, whatever. So the amateur thing is to just have a blog post with the content right? Like that's, you know, that's a cool intro, but then you're putting the onus on the site visitor to then like continue going and be like, oh, well I like this, but maybe I'll also like A, B, and C. But instead a legit website is going to have that blog post. And then at the end, they're going to have a really clear call to action that says, Hey, this is the next steps. I want you to either like read more related content. Number two could be like, purchase a product. So you link to a product or related products, whatever it is. Or number three could be to like check out to learn more about your services, inquire, book a free consulting call, whatever it is. But this is a big thing. Again, use the blog as a way to create content that gets people to discover your website and then use that blog post in a way that has a clear call to action so that you're not leaving them hanging. Instead, you're like, okay, you like this, read it. Now go here, do this, buy my product, book my service, whatever. Okay. That's number four. This is a really big thing that sets people apart. But let's move on now to point number five, okay? And again, this one is a bit more of a like design thing, but I think it's super important to put in here as well. And that's that a legit website will have the proper year in the footer section, okay? So I want you to do this, check it out right now on your own website that you have. Scroll down to the very bottom of the footer and check the year. If your website still says like copyright, 2020, then honey, you need to update that to the current year. We're recording this in March, 2021. So your website better say copyright 2021 on it. All right, quick and easy. Make sure that you're doing that. Not only does it signal to someone who's viewing your site that you're like, Hey, look, this is a website that someone is actually like updating and maintaining, but it's also just, you know, it's a signifier to the visitor, the Google, whatever search engines that you're like, yep, Someone is maintaining this website. Someone's paying attention. Someone is like keeping on top of it. So it's really important that the date in the footer of your website matches the current year. Okay. Short and sweet one. All right. And then the last pointer, let me just double check here. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And then the last pointer that sets a legit, legit website apart is that you are clearly promoting related content or offerings. Okay. So just before I mentioned that at the bottom of a blog post, you might be like, Oh, Hey, here are more related blog posts. So you could be using like a summary block or something like that, but you also want to use that in regards to maybe products that you sell on your website. So I know a lot of you guys who watch this have maybe not a full blown e-commerce like website. Maybe you're not like, you know, <laughs> a massive online shop, but you probably have like a couple of products that you sell, whether it's like a digital product, a physical product, whatever kind of thing. And in this case, again, a legit website, something that is more established and, you know, interested in things like conversions and all of that sort of thing, they understand the value of showing related products at the end of these products. Okay. So, you know, you might be like, Oh, you like this t-shirt. You might like these two or three other t-shirts or, Oh, you're interested in this. You might also like this, like Amazon has that on lockdown. And I want you to basically like do the same on your website. Doesn't matter if it's big or small. doesn't matter if you have a huge e-commerce shop or just, you know, a handful of products, you should always be adding 
related products or related offerings, whatever it is. And again, bringing this back to our favorite SEO thing is that many people are going to find your website for the very first time when they're searching for a product online and that product page shows up in the search result. So again, I'm sounding like a broken record, but imagine that they don't know anything about you, your brand, your business. They don't know any of your other offerings. And if you show them your related products and make it like dead simple for them to kind of be like, oh, cute, but also this is great as well, or even better, then that's a way that you're going to not only like promote a sale, but also keep them on your site longer, establish more of a relationship, all that sort of thing. So there you have it. Six really quick, easy ways that you can make your website seem more legit, more established, you know, better user experience, design, all that sort of thing. And before you go, I want to mention that I have a free Squarespace SEO checklist. I'm linking to it down below. So if you're watching this on YouTube, it's in the description box down below the video. And if you're in the blog post, obviously it's in the blog post that goes with it. But this free Squarespace SEO checklist, if you're interested in anything about SEO, you need to grab it. It's been downloaded by like legit thousands, huh, legit thousands of people. And I know it's going to be really helpful. So make sure you grab a copy of that. It's a free one page download. Like I know you're going to find so much value. Um, and also take a look at the other videos that I have here on my YouTube channel, all the other blog posts I have, the resources on my website. If you're interested in Squarespace SEO, growing your website, online business, like any of those things, I've got you covered here. And you can always like the video. You can subscribe to my channel to make sure you don't miss any more content. And leave me a comment if you found this helpful too. These is, especially if you like this kind of quick, informal, you know, like type of video that I, I personally really like, and I want to know if you do too. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you again in the next one soon. Bye.